Hi everybody, I'm Joey with Create with Joey and I have four really cute spring cards to show you today. They're easy, anybody can make them. Uh, they use one stamp set and one punch. We're going to use some other dies with them, but it's called the Petal Park Bundle and I'm excited to share these cards with you. One is an easel card that makes this looks like a flower pot and so when you set it on your desk it looks like a flower pot opening up um, on the card. So I'm excited to share that with you. Before we get started I have to just deal with some technical things so my head's going to get close to the camera. I have to get my iPad going so I can see what you're seeing and then and I have it going but it's got the sound on which we don't want. And then my laptop I have here, and I have to bring myself on my, on my laptop because it's the only place I can see comments. They just don't stay up on my iPad for some reason. I don't know the reason. There I am. Perfect. Okay, let's get the sound off of that too. Here we go, you guys. Good job. Everybody's joining. Hi, Chris and Carol. And hi, Diane. And hi, Kay. Excellent. Okay, let me get my laptop out of the way here. Sorry, I'm banging around on things. And now my now my laptop has lost the connection, although I can see your comments. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. So I don't know if this silly thing is going to boot up or not, but it looks like it's going to still bring in your comments, hopefully. So let's just go ahead and get started. I hope you brought... Um, uh, drink your favorite beverage or wish list today if you haven't uh, you can certainly take the chance right now to go get them so you're ready to go we're going to be here a while because we're doing five cards oh thanks for sharing Diane um, hi Kathy okay um, Kathy says she is going to cast me to the TV before Facebook watch has dropped from Amazon Fire Dang it, I know, doesn't, isn't that frustrating when you've got a system going? Um, and I just haven't had time to get going on how to format. <clears throat> I have to buy another app or I have to at least download it to be able to show my face and my hands at the same time. And I just have been so crazy busy with the new catalog and the retiring catalog. So it's just been insane, but I'll get there. I'll eventually get there. Okay, let me go ahead and get my toolbox here up on my camera. You won't be able to see it, but I'm clicking a couple little things that make me go upside down and then you'll be right side up. So it takes a moment. Sometimes I don't get it turned the best right away, but then with a little tweaking, we can usually get it. Looks like that's not too bad. We're going to go with that. Pretty good. Okay, um, as I was saying, um, Stampin' Up! is has just put their retiring list out. So there's a retiring list for the annual catalog and then there's one for the January through June catalog. <clears throat> I have posted these just this morning. I put these in the file section on my Create with Joey Stampers group page. I couldn't figure out how to do it on my business page, which is what you're watching from now. And again, my video is just not uploading here. There we go. Looks like now I can see it, except I can't see your comments. Okay, there we go. Um, now, sorry, I'm distracted with my computer not cooperating. <clears throat> Let me go ahead. Oh, thanks for sharing, Kathy, or did I already say that? I'm a little flustered with this computer business. So my Create with Joey Stampers group is my creative community. And let me put the link to join that because that's where I uploaded the, the these two lists. And these are not the ones you get on the Stampin' Up! website. These are ones that... <clears throat> A friend demonstrator has redone and taken out all the she's taken out all the French sets and she's taken out um, and she's made the print the font bigger so it's much much bigger so 
some things are returned and they're at a great discount. So some things are up to 60% off. We're not going through this list today. We're going to make cards, <clears throat> but just to show you, she did a really great job of like highlighting things that are going to stay available, but they'll lose their bundled 10% discount. So those lists are uploaded. You can find them in the file section again on my Create with Joey Stampers group. And I did put that in the comments so you can find it there. If you're watching on YouTube, welcome. Thanks so much for watching. Um, in, on YouTube, I'll put all my links in the video description. So if you're watching my Facebook page and you haven't liked and followed my page, I invite you to do that so you don't miss anything that I post. And if you're watching on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss uh, videos on YouTube either. All right, my friends, we are ready to go here. I'm excited to share with you some cute cards using this stamp set, Petal Park. So this has a coordinating punch. I know it's going to glare in the video, I'm sure. <coughs> and... We're also going to use today, gosh, excuse me, a surprise set called Special Moments. Now this, you might recognize it. This is from a celebration a while back, not the past one. But I collected these and I have a stack of these that I'm giving away this week with your orders. So the, the projects that you're going to see today, if you put in a $35 order, you'll get all the project supplies. If you put in a $50 order, you get all the project supplies and this stamp set. If you put in a $75 order, you get all this and the project, or not this, that's not included, but this free stamp set. And you'll also get the retiring in color opal rounds, the 21 23 year opal rounds we're going to use these today in our projects but so i have a lot of free gifts this week but you need to use this host code in order to get the free gifts now again on youtube that host code will be and the shopping link will be in the video description but let me plug it in right here to the comments for those that are watching on facebook so whether you're watching live or the replay you can scroll down through the comments to get these links or you can always just contact me and I'll send them to you too looks like every all my comments are coming up are you guys commenting there's not really a thing anything to comment on yet actually but I'm not seeing I'm seeing my comment come up so hopefully it's very disconcerting when I can't see the video on my laptop, but hopefully it's going to load at some point. I don't know. All right, let's just get going here with these fun projects. So for the first card, um, I'm going to use a couple of retiring products. One is Pear Pizzazz cardstock. So if you, um, if you need the ink refills or this cardstock or even the ink pad if you're just uh, growing your project supplies and you're not a long time stamper you might not have this color yet but it's a beautiful color I'm going to really miss it um, to stamp with because it's a spring it's a pretty spring green it's not as bright as granny apple green which is stain um, and it's not as bright as as limey colored as pear pizzazz not pear pizzazz uh parakeet party which is an in color that's sticking around but i really like it now this is the tea party paper this is in this is in the annual catalog and let me find it so you know because uh, I can't remember some of these are on sale and some are not on sale so here it, this one is on sale so it's over here it's on page 134 of the annual catalog and it's called tea boutique the number is 158659 and it costs $8.40 for 48 sheets for each of 12 double-sided designs so that's one thing we're using on this card today. Let's go ahead and this is a three by four piece of designer paper. 
So we're going to just go ahead and I use three by four uh, pieces of designer paper in a lot of designs. Someday I think I should do a Facebook Live on how many different card designs you can use on it with a piece of cardstock that's three in, or designer paper that's three by four inches. All right, now we're going to just take our little. Um, this is from the Scallop Contours. I think that's yeah, Scallop Contours, guys. This one that is staying, it's not retiring. Thank heavens, I would really be heart sick about that. Okay, I'm going to grab Pear Pizzazz and we're going to stamp. I'll show you how to stamp these. This is a two-step stamping group. Kind of bringing up my, K. Okay, I ordered last night with George. I saw, I saw your picture with George K. I saw your list and you have beautiful handwriting, I know, but I noticed your list next to you on the table. It looked like you had your computer or your iPad there. Okay. Oh, I, I need to look at my sample here. We're going to go this way to stamp the outline. So this is Pear Pizzazz ink and I'm going to just stamp this in full strength, kind of a little bit of angle because I want everything to be seen. I don't want to go off the sides on this one. So we're going to just stamp that one. And then let me just show you what I did before I stamped this one. So this stamp, I'm not going to take it off and redo it, but just pretend like the block isn't here. So I set my stamp, whoops, that's not going to be helpful because it's not the right way. So I set my stamp down. Let's just do it. I don't think it's helpful when you can't actually see me do it because this stamp, look how thin this little place is right here. And I didn't tear this one, but I did recently tear another stamp. It's never happened to me in 20 years with stamping up. But so I'm kind of careful with this. But my issue with this is what I want to show you is this can be, if you're not careful, this could be a lot of different shapes and you definitely want it to fit your design. So take your stamp. Just make sure I've got it lined up right. And then you're going to just line it up on top. And you can, I don't know if you can see that very well on the video. I might not be close enough to you. But see, if I just didn't watch down here, this part would not be lined up. So I'm lining this up with my stamped image. I don't know how much of that you can really see. But that's what I'm doing, just so you know. Okay, so now I'm going to set my stamp down here, and then I should be ready to go. It should be all lined up, so let me grab my Pear Pizzazz ink pad again. Going to go ahead and this one I'm going to stamp off because I want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to grab some. Here's a piece of scrap paper. I started making Easter, or not Easter baskets, but May baskets this morning. And this was a scrap. This one didn't work out the right, it wasn't the right size. I'll show it to you, because it's gonna be what, what I'm gonna give in my, my free tutorial this week to my newsletter subscribers. Just focus a minute to get this lined up. <laughs> Um, every week I send a free tutorial to my newsletter subscribers, a free PDF. So if you're not on my list, there we go, that lined up pretty good. Uh, if you're not on my email list, I'm going to go ahead and put that link in the links too. And again, on YouTube, it will be in the video description. So you can subscribe to my newsletter. Let me copy this link. Again, late ladies or gentlemen, whoever is watching, I'm not 100% sure. My comments, yeah, my comments are showing up. Why the video doesn't show up, I have no clue. Um, but this is, the, this is what I started with this morning. So this is an easy little basket that anybody can make. You can make a lot of these really quickly. And I use the same stamps that we're using today. I'm not, I'm gonna, Cuts with this a little bit more. I think I'm going to switch it up. But if you want the tutorial for this little May basket, because it's coming up, I know Easter's just next week, but uh, May 1st is coming. So I thought maybe it'd be a good idea to share some basket tutorials 
at least one this week. Okay, there we've got our leaves. Now let's get our flowers going here. Our flowers, we're gonna stamp on scrap paper. So let me grab, I have some scrap paper here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So, and we're gonna do yellow flowers. So, I think I cleaned these pretty well after I made my May basket, but I just wanna make sure so I don't put the wrong color ink in my yellow ink pad. So I'm grabbing a Daffodil Delight. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did uh, with the two-step leaves. We're going to do the full strength first. And remember to check your punch when you're lining your stamps up to stamp. So the paper is going to go in this way into my punch, going like that. My punch is closed. That's the way it's going to go into my punch like this. So I want to look, I want to make sure my my stamping is lined up with my punch. So that means that the bigger stamp is to the right and the smallest one is going towards the top. Okay, so there's that. Then let's go ahead and stamp our flowers that fit on the inside. Hi Kelly, no problem, you're never late. No problem at all. And then let's just go ahead and stamp off on scrap paper. I could stamp off on my grid paper, but um, then you're looking at kind of a hot mess. And besides, I can actually crunch those out later too if I want to. So now I'm going to try and line these up. I'm going to stand up. You can't see me standing up, but I'm standing up to get these all lined up pretty well. Okay, so there we go. And there you have your two-step stamping with the yellow outline a little bit darker than the inside of the flower. But there's a lot of detail on these flowers. They're, they're really pretty. So now, since we were careful about how we stamped on our scrap paper, this should be fairly easy to line up here, like so. Can you see that in the picture? Then we're gonna stamp those off. Now, you can Trying to see if I made a card today where we're just, yeah. I were, the next card we make, we're gonna just stamp them in the middle of this, because it, it, you can do that, and that's really how it's made to be stamped. But for this one, we're going to, let's see, let's arrange our flowers kind of like so. Let's grab some Stampin' Dimensionals. I thought maybe I might actually give May baskets this year. We, when we moved into our neighborhood, into we built a new home several years ago, mainly to have a a stamp studio where everything was on one level. So it was right when COVID started, or COVID started shortly after that. I think I'm gonna put this here, and maybe this one here. I just want to kind of fill up that hole right there so we have met our neighbors on both sides of us and we visit with them but honestly I don't know the rest of my neighbors so I thought maybe I'm considering not promising but I'm considering giving May baskets this year because I thought it might be one way to break the ice with some of my neighbors that I don't know yet and though I would like to know, I would at least like to know everybody on my block. So now I'm gonna grab these beautiful opal rounds. I don't know if you can see that. Well, this is, one isn't cooperating. Well, you can't really see. Let me put it on and then maybe you can see. I don't know if you can see the sparkles. There's like little specks of glitter trying to hold it where you can see it, but it's just blurry in the camera. So I don't think you can see it, but you have to trust me on that. There's little bits of uh, glitter in these and they are really pretty. They show up much better in person. Let's get this on here. I'm using my take your pick tool, which actually is, sometimes works well for this, sometimes doesn't. Let's put a few more gems out and about. So we've got five. Let's go with a total of five, like so. 
Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to go ahead and do our greeting after we put dimensionals on this and get it stuck on our card. So the greeting is going to be from the special moment stamp set that I'm giving away. Now I do have a limited amount, so I don't, I can't give them away indefinitely, but I will give away all that I have. So if with your $50 order and using this host code or the shopping link that I put in the comments or in the video description on YouTube, uh, you'll be... You can get one of these for free from me and I'll send you all the card supplies and the stamp set with a $50 order and then you get the gems also with a $75 order. Okay, that's that's that. Let's go ahead and do the greeting. Let me grab a little piece of scrap paper because I don't think I did this ahead of time. No, I didn't. So I'm going to take the best wishes. I was trying to think of spring occasions, you know, so there'll be weddings, there'll be graduations. You could even use best wishes for um, a birthday card, but I probably would use it for a graduation or a wedding. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this. In pear pizzazz, I'm still using pear pizzazz. Now, isn't that a pretty color? I'm gonna just really miss it. Um, if you own a pear pizzazz refill, you should at least buy the, I mean, own a pear pizzazz ink pad. You should at least get the ink refill if you don't have it. And honestly, I don't even know if it's still available in the online store because the re ink refills are selling out quickly. And move some of my, sorry, I'm sure that's loud in the video. Let's go ahead and die cut this. Now this die I'm taking from a set of dies that go with Fancy Phrases is the name of it. Let me, I'm trying to focus on getting this straight. And I think for the sake of not having to do this twice, I'm going to grab some washi tape. If you have a post-it note, <clears throat> that would work too. I have washi tape handy here, so I'm going to grab it. Stampin' Up! used to sell washi tape, so I have quite a bit of it still. And it comes in really handy. It was a very fun embellishment to use. I had fun with washi tape. Okay. Oh, I forgot to get out my good plates so you could actually see what I'm die cutting. I don't use my good plates for every day because, you know, I save my good ones for Facebook Live, which obviously I don't have. I don't have going. But this fancy phrase has a lot of um, nice greetings in it and it has a lot of nice labels. So this is one to think about. This one will unbundle with the new catalog. So it will be 10% more. Everything that's bundled right now will be 10% more uh, when it unbundles. So we've got that and we're gonna take a little piece of twine. We're gonna do our bow just a little bit differently this time. We're gonna actually Put the bow down and then the greeting down, which is a little bit different than what we usually do. So I'm going to grab some. This is called linen thread. It isn't actually called twine. It's $5. I'm not sure if it's going up in the new catalog or not. I I won't take the time to check it right now. But um, I will say this, friends. All the cardstock is going up in price and the ink pads are going up in price. So anything current that is going to stay in the new catalog, which uh, you can know what's leaving by looking at my list that I posted in my Create with Joey Stampers group. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, so this time we're going to put the mini glue on the front. I'm just saying those those car stocks that are staying, that aren't retiring. Um, 
you might want to stock up on your favorite colors because they're going up they're going up in price. They're actually going up, I think, as much as 75%. I'm trying to think how I want to do this like this. Yeah, that'll work good. Okay, so there's our best wishes, and then we're going to tack that down with. And, you know, I do understand. I'm not happy about it, but I do understand because costs have gone up for everything you know it's just the life we're living right now so i understand that stampin up has to make changes too i think i'm going to tuck this under that flower well let's go down here just a little bit more there we go so there's our best wishes card and here's my sample. I don't think I put any. Oh, I did put a greeting on the inside. So let's go ahead and do that. So big congratulations. All these greetings, again, are in that special moment stamp set. So if you already have that stamp set, if you got it during celebration, then you are set to make these cards. If you have the Petal Park bundle, that's the flowers and punch I'm using. It's one of the few punch bundles that the punch didn't sell out quickly so i've been checking it and checking it and it's been available hasn't gone on even though gone on low inventory which i'm kind of shocked because it's so cute okay so there is our first card with our petal park and then i think that'll be really nice for spring let me see if i can see any comments yet okay yes i see your comment hi corinne I am. <laughs> My friend Corinne and I were uh, were talking yesterday. We are really, really good friends. We met through stamping. She lives in Montana. And uh, we both had hard days yesterday. Long story. All the new catalog stuff, uh, since we're both demonstrators, we were both putting in our pre-order yesterday. And there was a lot because... Um, so many things are retiring, including some of the basic core colors. Anyway, it was, it was a long day. Now we had to do our tax. Oops, this is not the right card. Let me see what I want to make. Nope, not this one. Let me get add another one. Okay. This is the one we want. Okay. Um, anyway, long story. But Corinne, I hope you're having a better day too. Now, for this card, I've got a lot of bits and pieces here. And one, actually, we're going to get out the the um, the die cutting machine. And we're going to, because I want to show you how to do this. I did already do it ahead of time, but I, I want to go through it with you. So, we are using these dies which are on sale they're called the fabulous frames die so we're going to use both this one and then we're also going to use there's a little oval in here by the way friends all the ovals are retiring so any set that has an oval in it the frame florets that's retiring which shocks me i thought for sure it would be in the new catalog because we don't have any other ovals okay so this these dies, I just want to show you where they are. So they're on page 171 of our catalog, and they're right here. And they are they were $31, and now they're $18.60. So if you think you would enjoy having these in your collection, it's a perfect time to get them. Okay, let's go ahead and cut these out. I just want to show you how they work so you actually see it in action. So we're going to go ahead and get our messy, all cut up, well-loved, whoops, let's go ahead and put this up further, um, acrylic plates <laughs> for our die cutting machine. And it's going to be kind of a close fit, but I think we can make it work. So you're not going to be able to see these dies hardly because I didn't get out my clear plate. But oh, that, is a, that is a hard push right there. And then keep going. Okay, there we go. 
Now, a lot of the die cutting for today, I do have done. I actually, as I said, I even had this done. But see what a beautiful, I don't, can you see the detail on the frame? So there's two indented lines and then a little dotted edge, which is really pretty. Uh, I have used these actually quite a lot. The two I'm showing you, I've used a lot. I haven't used... I've pretty, I think I've used most of the dies, if not all of them in the set. This, this outline of the oval, this little frame, you could use that. We're not actually using that today, but I usually keep those. So I have them in my uh, collection. I just keep all those kinds of things like in a little, uh, a stamp case. You can buy our stamp cases of four. They're in they're in uh, groups of four in the catalog, or online. If you're if you shop online, they're there. They're called. I don't know what they're called. I think if you just put in stamp cases, they should come up. All right, let's get to stamping. We're just doing all this talking, but we want to stamp. We don't care about all this other stuff. The stamping is the fun part. All right, let's take, let's get back to our, our stamps. I think I cleaned these, but they look a little green, so I'm going to just make sure. We're going to use Mint Macaron for these leaves this time. Mint Macaron is another retiring color. This color, one of my favorite colors of all time, and what's glaring in the screen. Mint Macaron is the name, and I love it. I'm really, really going to miss both these greens, both Pear Pizzazz and Mint Macaron. Let me look and see if I can see your comments. I'm sorry. It just, Pam, I ordered a bunch of retiring stuff and got everything except the Stamparaz magnets. I didn't get them either, Pam. I didn't get the Stamparaz magnets. It astounds me all the very good stuff they deleted. I'm glad I keep all my stuff. Yeah. Hi, Donna. Um, I'm with you on that, my friend. Oh my goodness. Although the thing is, is we have some really great stuff coming, but it's, it's hard right now. Honestly, it is hard right now because there's just so much to keep track of. Okay. This piece is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And if you, if you order uh, $50 or more, you'll get the PDF t tutorial, so you don't really have to remember these measurements, but I try to give them to you in case you don't order and you're trying to make the cards. Okay, so now we're going to, we're going to just stamp right on our cardstock again, and I have to kind of look at my, I think I did it. Let's see, hang on here a second. I think I did it like, yeah, this is how I did it. So I probably did go off the edges just a little bit like so. Okay, and again, I'm doing full strength. So we're gonna do this again. And then I'm going to, I think I kept my stamp. <laughs> I know you're like, well, how did you make it, Joey? Um, the issue is I make these like at least several days ahead of time. I have no idea if that's how I stamped it the first time or not, but we're going to just live dangerous. Whoops, we need that still. Live dangerously and assume I have it the way I did it on my sample. And if it isn't, well, it's a brand new card. Okay, so now we're going to take this and I'm going to grab some cardstock and stamp off once and then I'm gonna line this back up here whoops let me get this on sometimes it takes me a minute to actually see through and make sure I'm getting lined up Okay, so there, there we go, that's pretty good. Isn't Mint Macaron such a pretty color? Oh, this one, this one is painful to lose. It's one of my favorites. Okay, stamp off, and then 
we'll go ahead. Oops. See, this is how I, it always takes me a minute to see what did I do? Did I do this? No. Did I do this? Yes. Okay. So let's go. Like, I think if I used a darker color, it would be a little bit easier to see through to, to line up, but we did pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. So we'll go with that, and then I hope my flowers line up. <laughs> That's the other thing. Now we have to line up the flowers. But you know what? It's stamping. It's all good. So it's, it's handmade, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Corinne, you're sad about mint macaron, too. I know. Hi, Shirley. Welcome. Okay, so now we're going with Orchid Oasis, right? Yeah, Orchid Oasis. Full string. Oh, I got ink on my card. Well, we might have to put some. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll put some. Now, this part I always have to think about, too. I think the big flower. Yeah, so it kind of fits in here between the leaves. But you do have to kind of look at it for a minute. Yeah, did okay. So far, so good. Then this one, the big flower is going to go, I know the big flower is going to go up towards the middle. So we're going to, just trying to fit the other small ones in so they're not stamping right on top of the leaf. Oh, I didn't do as good as the first one, but it's going to gonna be okay. Now, let's grab the fill-in flowers. And then we'll stamp off again. Had to go grab a piece of scrap paper. So I have a bigger piece than these little ones. Okay, so now I'm gonna line this up. I have had a lot of fun stamping with this stamp set. I, I I'm a flower person, so I love flowers. Um, and I've, it was on my list from the very beginning when the spring catalog came out. Um, but I just had other projects going in front of it. So now I'm using it this week for our free class online. There we go. Aren't those two pretty together? So that's Mint Macaron and that is Orchid Oasis for your colors there. Then... We're going to, we do have to do our greetings. I'm going to set this aside, and here's the oval that we cut out, so we're going to use that. Then I'm going to go back to my um, special moment stamp set, and I'm going to grab the With Sympathy. I, I'm i sorry to say, but I had to sense, I hate you know, you hate sending sympathy cards, but you want to make sure you have some on hand for people that have lost people. So, I thought this was a really beautiful sympathy greeting because I like the cursive font with the print, the mix of the two. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that in the center like so. And um, I was going to tell you, too, Orchid Oasis is one of my favorite colors. I would call this Periwinkle. Maybe Periwinkle will be a little bit lighter color. Um, but, you know, Stampin' Up, they like their alliterations, which is great. I mean, you know, I love their products, so I don't care what they call it. But my point is that our wedding anniversary, our 30th wedding anniversary, can you believe it? Oh, I need a different stamp, was Monday. And I had periwinkle and pink were my colors for my wedding. And my sisters-in-law asked me, what in the world is periwinkle? They're like, what is that? <laughs> okay, let's stamp this off. These are the other little flowers that come in the, the set. Let me see how to line these up. Come, sometimes you kind of have to go ring around the rosy to 
get them lined up. So there we go. And then I'm going to put, there's another little stamp that is like little, I don't know what you call it, little fern, fern-like stamps maybe. Let's go with back to our mint macaron. And if you just joined us, I just want to make sure you know that you can find the retiring list in my create with in the file section of my create with Joey Stampers group on Facebook. And I did put in the comments and earlier comments uh, the link to join that group. I've had a lot of new members over the past month or so then i'm gonna again i'm gonna stamp off this is so light it's gonna be really hard for both you to see and actually for me to see too and honestly it's not even gonna really be a big deal if it doesn't line up but we'll we're gonna add this inside just because it adds a little bit of texture to it and you know i didn't really get those lined up but it's okay i'm gonna go with it now there's another little stamp in this set if you've watched me for a while you've heard me say this and i gotta find it though where is it here it is nope yep that's it these little here let me grab the stamp case these little um background stamps for, for lack of a better word. So I love these little dots that they give you sometimes. They're kind of like some kind of little, some kind of little background stamps, but dots are my favorite. Splatter stamps, I think maybe they should be called splatter stamps. That might be a better description. So I think it looks so pretty. I've told this story before, but when I first started stamping, there was a set of four stamps, and one was a splatter. You know, it was just like this, only it was a bigger block. And I swear I actually wore off the nubs on that stamp. I used it all the time. All right, let's get this lined up. So I think the best way to glue this is to go around the very 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 edge so you have to be careful of this you don't want any kind of blobs because it'll squirt out onto the front of your card so i'm not squeezing very hard here at all and i'm going around the very edge because we're going to put our frame and you really don't even have to have it all you know completely aligned you can just have like little dots of glue too and that's enough okay so there's our liquid glue. I think liquid glue will be your easiest way to glue this on. Then you're just gonna line up your frame like so. And then what I like to do is turn it over and then get it squared up. You know, once I've, whoops. Your liquid glue gives you a little bit of time to move it. Although it's stuck. <laughs> It's stuck pretty good, but I think we're okay. We don't see it on the front. There we go. So doesn't that make a clean, pretty edge on your card? I just thought that turned out really pretty. I like white a lot. If you've watched me much, you know that I like... I like a lot of white on my cards. I don't know. I think the freshness and the crisp, crispness of white, I just like it. I just think it looks pretty. I like color too, you know I do. If you've been watching me for, at all, you know that I like a lot of color as well, but I tend to calm, I don't know if you'd call it calming things down with white, but there's a little smudge there, so I'm gonna turn my card over. We're gonna go this way, okay? So there's that, then let's grab our greeting. And Get this on like so and then for this one for the gems I used I know these colors don't exactly match 
See, I think I stamped my flowers wrong. Oh, you know what? No, this card, I went like this. So I did do them the same, but I just turned them. Oops, there's a butterfly there. Turn them a different direction. So that's okay. It still looks pretty. It's not a big deal. I grabbed my... These light green ones are actually soft succulent because soft succulent is a retiring color. It's a little bit similar to mint macaron, and we're losing both of those beautiful colors. But um, I thought it looked really pretty. Whoops. Really pretty with the orchid oasis flowers. So I went with green on these. I mean, we obviously we do have green. Whoops. I think that'll peek through there enough. I'm gonna have to go ahead and use it. And then maybe one more. These have been one of my favorite, oh gosh, one of my favorite embellishments. You know what guys, for some reason today I'm struggling with this tool. The adhesive, okay. This is enough of this. I'm gonna grab, if I can find my I have another, an old piercing tool that sometimes works better. But right now I'm just going to use my scissors. And then I'm having trouble getting underneath the gems with this point. There is a new, um, a new tool coming out that fits on our take your pick tool. And it has a very, very, very tiny piercing end and I'm anxious to get that because this one for me sometimes doesn't work in a case like this. So there's those flowers and then we've got our sympathy cards still. What do you think of that one? Do you like those colors together? The Orchid Oasis and the Mint Macaron? I thought that turned out pretty. So there's our second card. I'll let you take a look at that. Now we're gonna make our flower pot card. I'm anxious to show you this one because it's not hard. I adapted it from another from another pattern that I saw online and then I changed it to make it easier. So let me get this out of the way. There's our second card. I'm sorry, you guys, I can't see your, con my screen keeps going blank on my computer. Okay, so you are seeing it. Very pretty, thank you. I like your card. I need a sympathy card. Thank you, Shirley. Karen, Karen I know. I know. I, I think I I think I saw you use this, Karen, this week, and I think that's where I got the idea to use it, too, because I liked what you made with it. I can't remember what it was, but I'm pretty sure I saw something you made with it, and I thought, oh, I'm going to use that this week, too. All right, this is a piece of thick cardstock. It's four and a quarter by 11, and I scored it at five and a half, and I scored it at uh, two and three fourths. That would be half of five and a half. Is that not right? Yeah, two and three fourths. So, because we're going to make an easel card out of this. So, let's go ahead and get this kind of set up for our flower pot. Okay. Um, the first thing we're going to do is put down some designer paper. And I don't think these are the same size. Oh, they, oh no, they're not the same size. So this one is the one that goes here, yeah. And then we have a border for that one. We should have a border for that. Maybe I didn't get it cut. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be cutting borders for these. So this paper is, I think it's two and three fourths, no, two and a fourth by three and three fourths. And so I just need a little piece of sweet sorbet. Just gotta grab it here. And so I think I just made it Oh boy, I don't remember. So two and a fourth, I said by three and three fourths. So let's just go with two and a half. We can always cut it down if we need to. So two and a half. 
by, I think this will be four then. And that is already four. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, that's gonna work. All right, let's go with that for now. If we have to cut something else, we will. So this is actually just gonna be the background for our flower pot and just make the front of the card pretty before they open it up to get the big wow with the flower pot popping, popping up. So put this down like so. Oh, thank you, Carol. Thanks, Pam. I'm glad you like the colors. I'm so big on color combinations. I feel like it's the way, oh, I was gonna tell you, I think for this one, okay, this is kind of odd, but I didn't square it up on the bottom. I squared it up on the, I mean, even, I wanted even top, bottom, and sides, but I put the lower part closer to the fold line, and I'll show you why once we get our card a little bit further along. So it's a little bit closer to the fold line than it is the top. There's a reason for that. Let's go ahead and do the inside of our card. I'm gonna grab this, goes on this, and then this, I think. Let's go with, we're gonna go with that. So I did it this way so you'd have some room to write. The one that I saw online had a, oops, that's not, that's not gonna work. Holy, oh, hang on here. Okay, so this needs to be three and three fourths. So this piece is four by five and a quarter. So this piece, I'm turning the sticky edge up, needs to be three and three fourths, five, five. Like so, there we go. And then that'll work for what we're trying to do. I'm gonna stick this on like so. Okay, then we're gonna stick this piece of designer paper. This piece is a different size in the front. This is two and a half by three and three fourths. And that's gonna go down here, okay? And then that's gonna go on the inside. I, I think I started to say the one I saw online actually had a whole separate card that folded down like this. And then the designer paper was filled up the whole inside. But I just thought it was just more complicated than it needed to be. You know me, I'm not really big on on tons of layers and more detail than really is necessary. All right, now I'm gonna grab, hang on, I got a, I forgot a set of dies. Let me go grab them. They were close by, but I just didn't have them within arm's length. Now I need to grab some mint macaron paper. And we're gonna do our greeting here. Okay, so this, well, we'll use that in a minute. But let's go ahead and get this down. So we're gonna, let's do both our greetings. This one I already have die cut. This one we're gonna need to die cut, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. Let me set this aside so I don't get anything on it. And we'll grab, this is gonna be a birthday card. So I'm gonna grab my happy birthday. In case I haven't said it, I'm so thankful that you joined me on Facebook Live. And if you're watching replay or you're watching on YouTube, I'm just very grateful that you spend your time with me because I know your time is valuable and I just appreciate that you spend time with me stamping. There's a lot of people you could be watching and spending your time with. So I'm grateful for you. I'm gonna, the thanking of you is gonna go on the front and then our happy birthday is gonna go 
in the inside. But we're gonna die cut it because we have to pop it up in order to hold our easel open. So let's grab the machine. Let me get the die first. The die is gonna be this one, I think, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yep, that one, okay. So we'll grab our machine, get this out of the way, put that aside where we don't lose it. Okay. Have a lot of stamps out here. <laughs> I'm a, you know, you only have so much space when you're stamping on Facebook because you have to stay in the screen. So, you know, so I've got a lot of stuff surrounding me. Okay, so let's get this happy birthday down here. These are the stitched rectangle dies and they are also retiring. So I'll pull those up so you can see those. I was surprised at these. I'll just be honest because there's a lot of dies and there's a lot of shapes and I use them quite a bit actually. Now we do have a, a set of dies called the um, rectangle, deckled rectangles. And they're stained, but there's not as many dies in those as these. And these, these nest together so well. And look at all the dies that you get with that. So let's, let's look those up quick so you know where they are and how much they cost. Honestly, I don't remember whether these were discounted or not, but we're going to grab, I have everything marked in my catalog, so let's just go to the bath here with the dies and check it out so you know for sure what's what. These are the deckled rectangles that I mentioned, but see, you don't get as many dies. It's a nice set, but it doesn't really compare to this one. Let me see see here where are these where are they okay so oh, stitched rectangles these are called and they're way down here on page 174 and they are on sale so they're normally $35 they're on sale for $24.50 the number for those is 151820 so $24.50 well over $10 off for those Okay, now let's actually make our, we're going to set this aside, let's actually make our flower pot. So for this, I have two pieces of sweet sorbet. The, this is the lip of the, I don't know what, oh, this was supposed to be that, no, I don't know what that is. Um, this is three-fourths by three and three-fourths, and this one is three by Mm, two and five eighths. Now this one, I'm going to show you how I did this. So I'm going to take a pencil and on this three inch side, I'm going to go in. Can you see me? Nope. So I'm going to go in one half inch from this edge and one half inch from this edge and just mark it with a pencil. Okay. Now I'm going to get that back out so you can see the host code and now, I'm going to take my paper trimmer, and I'm going to trim from that mark. I know you probably can't see very well in the video, but it's that mark up to the, well, I can come down here a little bit. Maybe you can see it better. That mark and keeping then the point in the, uh, the groove of the paper trimmer. First, I have to get my scoring blade out of the way, and then I can cut it like that. And then we're going to do the same thing with this side. So here's the half inch mark, and I'm going to bring this corner up to the cutting groove. And then I'm going to cut that, and there's our flower pot shape. Make sense? Okay, now we're going to go ahead and, I think this is right. This is going to fit on here like this. And then this is going to come across like this. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all, I'm going to erase these pencil marks because I don't want those to show. I don't want those on my flower pot. Okay, getting those off. I know I'm missing your comment, you guys. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know what's going on. Let me, 
Let me try and reboot my screen on my laptop. Anyway, we're gonna, this is, a, so we want this flower pot to come down to the bottom because this is gonna come up like this. Make sense? Okay, so then let's go ahead and glue this on. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna use, I'm not gonna use liquid glue. But on my sample card, I did use liquid glue. Now I'm trying to make sure I'm equal distance from the right to the left edges of the card. And I'm bringing this right up to the score line. And this is down here touching the bottom, okay? Oh, that's not lined up for Pete's sake. Get this on here. So don't do as I do, but just do as I say. Right now I'm looking at the bottom here to get this squared up. Okay, now we'll try this again. Get this up here, and it's about a fourth of an inch in from each side. There we go, that's much better. Now we're gonna emboss that. So we need our Stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I've taken off. This is only the base platform, and then I'm going to take my embossing. This is the I don't know what this is. I wish they would put the names of embossing folders on them. It's the one that, um, oh, you know what? There is actually script on here that goes a direction, so I don't think I want this upside down. Yeah, this is the right way. Yep. Okay, so I'll look up the name of this in a minute. I just don't remember. It's um, it's kind of roughed up, you know, like a rough edge of a, something that looks weathered. Who knows the name of this embossing folder? It's got like little bits of writing in it. Hang on, whoops, wrong plate. So then you have to use, this is a 3D embossing folder, so then you have to use your number four plate with your base platform. Run that through. Weathered, that's what I was trying to say. That's a hard word. It has a weathered look to it. Okay, so there see and it does have some kind of little printing in it but anyway i thought that was good for good for a flower pot now kids we have to do another this is my longest project today so once we get this one done we're we're home free because the last one is pretty fast and i have all the die cutting done for the last one but this one i kind of had to show you the whole the whole making of the card so you know. We're gonna go back to mint macaron. We're just gonna have a good day with it today because we have to say goodbye to it. So we're gonna take, we're gonna do those same leaves again. So I'm gonna grab the outline leaf and I'm not sure I got that inked super well. We don't need my hair in our stamp. Okay, so I'm gonna, this one we're gonna actually cut out. I really should have done that ahead of time, but as I said, yesterday was kind of a, you know, it was just one of those days you just wanted to get over with. I don't know if you saw my post on Facebook, but I rarely drink any kind of alcohol, but I do like Bailey's and I like wine but I didn't want to open a bottle of wine for one drink. So I got out the Baileys and poured it on rocks. And I just thought, you know what? It's been that kind of a day. I got up to do my pre-order. Um, I did that first and it was, you know, it was just, well, that's okay. Uh, the pre-order list is, it's not tiny print, but there's a lot of rows on it. And I'm gonna just fussy cut this. Sorry, I should, oh, wait a minute. I might have this, 
I might have this done. Because I was working. On, oh, I do have it done. Because I was. Is it Mint Macaron? Yes, I have it done. I was going to put it on my Easter basket. Or my May basket. Again, just a reminder. This is the. my. I'm doing a May basket for my email subscribers this week. They're free PDF. So if you want that tutorial, make sure you sign up for my email list. Okay, so this is perfect. So then what I did, here we go. So this is going to take a few moments. But I took, I went back to the Sweet Sorbet ink. And then I think I stamped this. We're going to stamp it three times. I don't remember whether it was one, or two, or three times. But I want to get it, uh, I don't want to come back to it. So we're going to do one. And then two, and then three. Okay, then we'll go back to our inside greeting. We'll grab our scrap paper over here, stamp off. Then, so if you like to, you know, you like cards with a lot of detail, you're going to love this card. Because, yes, this part is a little putsy, but it's not tedious putsy. It's just time-consuming. You know, there's a difference between regular putsy and tedious putsy, just saying. We did some tedious putsy over the past. <laughs> when we were doing that uh, bird, my birthday series when we were using that best day stamp set that has a lot of coloring. Uh, that was pretty much tedious putsy. Okay, we've got all our flowers. Then all we have to do with these is punch them out because they're all ready to be punched out. So let's bring these down here and We'll do three sets of these. Just to make sure, I just don't remember for when I made my original card whether it had three sets of flowers or two. So let's grab these in here. Oh, on top of reordering day yesterday, it was, it was our tax day. I don't know if I already mentioned that because I know I was a little flustered at the beginning because my laptop won't cooperate and it's still not cooperating. Now I can't even see your comments. I'm sorry. Whatever comments you make, I promise I'll come back and respond to them. I just, or whatever questions, I just can't see them right now. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Okay. It just won't come up at all. I don't know. Why does this happen? You know, every other time I'm on... Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to get it to come up, so... But it doesn't want to do it. So I can't even see your comments right now. Darn it. Maybe if I, what I will do is I'm swiping my iPad. Okay, now I can see him. Still have a month left, don't we? Yes, we have a whole month left. The problem is that some things will sell out and some things already have sell, sold out. But, but yes, we officially have a whole month left for the annual catalog that is current. All right, my friends. Now what we're going to do is... We're going to kind of lay this on here. I'm going to, I'm not popping this up. I'm going to glue it down. And honestly, I probably would use liquid glue for this if I wasn't on Facebook because I don't want to wait for it to dry. But you don't want this moving around. You want this to be pretty solid. Okay, then we're gonna take, um, let's go ahead and put this on here. I think we can do that. I think it'll help us know where to put the flowers. So let's go ahead. I'm trying to remember the order I actually did this in. 
of course I don't remember it. Now we have to be careful here though, because we don't want any of our adhesive to go on this. Am I in the screen? We don't want any adhesive to go on the top. So what I'm gonna do is flip this over so I can see these two leaves. I know I do want to be right in that. <clears throat> um, what am I trying to say? The, the score line. So I'm gonna pop these up. I'm gonna go to some mini dimensionals too because I want these, all these little leaves to be kind of secure. They're popped up, but they're gonna be secured down. You could probably put another one right there. So can you see how everything's gonna be below the score line when you turn it over like that? Then you know for sure. So you don't have any fear of You don't have any fear of sticking your card closed or putting adhesive where you don't want it. Yes, we have a whole month with this catalog. And, you know, and if you're a demonstrator, you have a whole month to pre-order too. So I'm going to make sure. I think this leaf and this leaf were the two I wanted to make sure went See, we're good. We are good. All right. So how that's going to go like that. Now we need dimensionals pretty much not on all these, but we need at least some. We're going to use all the flowers, but we need dimensionals on at least three or four or five. So I'm going to go ahead and stick dimensionals on here. So if you're a demonstrator, we have a month to order, pre-order from the new catalog. You can't order everything, but they have a really, you can order all the new colors that are coming. You can order all the new ink colors, the ink pads, the ink refills. Um, and then they put quite a few bundles on the pre-order. They they don't let us order from the whole new catalog. Okay, I'm going to kind of try and see what I did on my sample card and just start sticking these down. So I kind of went here like here. And what my goal here is to just fill up that white space. And here I actually want a mini glue dot. So between mini glue dots and dimensionals, I get all my flowers stuck down on this leaf. Okay, let me swipe to see if I can see a comment. Uh, Corinne had the same problem with her Facebook yesterday too. So frustrating, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna stick that one down with the mini glue dot. Then let's get one of these with a dimensional. So on my iPad, your comments disappear just about as fast as they come up. So if I'm not actually looking up, Okay, let me see. Oops, I'm trying to follow my pattern of my other cards so I'm not like just guessing and then having to pull things apart because it's like, that doesn't look good there. Um, so we're just filling up our flower pot with flowers, basically. The ones towards the back I'm using with mini glue dots. And then let's see, let's get another, I guess I did use, so when I was telling you, I wasn't sure whether I used three sets of flowers or two. It looks like I definitely used two. So let's get one going here. And then this one, I think this one will help, hold on. It's gonna go here. Yeah, but we're not gonna use a dimensional. We're going to use a mini glue dot on that one. And I actually think this one I'm gonna put, and then this one is gonna go here and that's gonna fill, fill up our flowers. Make sense? We're gonna kind of have a rounded top. So this one, I'm going to put a mini glue dot on the front of the flower so I can stick it to what's in front of it. Like, kind of have to stick this in here like. 
I'm not going to push that down because I'm not quite sure yet. This one we have to fit in here yet. And this one... This one, we're gonna put a mini glue dot on the one of the petals. And then that petal is going to stick on a nearby green, can you see what I'm doing on a nearby green leaf? This part, you know, you can just, when you're making your own card, don't worry about this part of it because you're just gonna fill up your, your pot with flowers. Here's one more. I don't know if, well, yeah, it looks like we do need that one. But that, I'm gonna take that dimensional off too. And for this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I think I'm gonna stick it to the one in front. So I'm gonna grab another couple of mini glue dots. As I said, this card is a little putsy, but it's super cute. And it's not hard kind of putsy, it's just time consuming putsy. Know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're gonna, we don't want those mini glue dots to show on the front. Okay, so that, I don't think that's exactly like I did my other one, but you get the idea. Then we're gonna grab our Thinking of You. This goes on the front, and we are gonna grab back our dimensionals for that. And my last card is faster, but I just thought you would enjoy this one because it's such a cute spring card, and aren't we getting ready for flowers? I'm getting ready for flowers. I'm just like, okay. Enough of the winter doldrums. I'm gonna kind of stick this down here. Then to make our to make our easel, we're gonna do this. I don't know how much you can see, but we're gonna do this. So let's pop up this. That kind of lost its stickiness when I pulled it up. So let's grab another dimensional. And I got one more left without cutting up the edges of my dimensionals. We'll stick this on. Let's see, I want I want this to stick up pretty tall because I want the flowers about there. So let me, I'm gonna line this up with one of these rows of checks so I know it's straight. And then this is, here's your card, you see? And if it's on the desk, it sits like this. And if it's sitting towards you, it's gonna sit like this. Make sense? Isn't that cute? I thought it turned out so cute and it's easier. If you think this one is putsy, this is easier than the one I was watching online. In fact, I didn't even watch the whole video. I thought I can make this easier and I can make it faster. And it's still cute and it's still the same kind of uh, same idea. All right, so now, just trying to locate my gems, which are pretty much nowhere to be seen. How does that happen? Here they are. Things just disappear on Facebook. They just do. I don't know how else to say it. I'm gonna grab my scissors again. And we're gonna put gems. I'm gonna use the pink ones, or did I use green? Yeah, pink. So these are actually supposed to be polished pink because that's, no, polished pink? Yeah, that's the one that's retiring, yes? Let me look at my colors. Yes, polished pink is retiring. But this, the gems are not as bright as the real polished pink. So, I thought they worked good on these little flowers. I know these aren't geraniums, but I'm thinking geraniums with the gingham and the sweet sorbet ink. You know, geraniums were my mom's favorite. Well, she had beautiful roses too. I'm sticking these on every flower center that shows. So like so. So cute. I'm so anxious to give this card away. I don't know who's gonna get this card. Somebody special. I feel like I want one there. I'm gonna go ahead, put one here. And these are the gems you get with a $75 order and you then you get the stamp set. Well, that's not working, is it? You get this, the uh, special moment stamp set free with a $50 order plus all the supplies for these cards. With a $35 order, you get all the supplies for the cards. 
Okay, what do you think of that? I can't even see your comments, so I'm going to swipe. Oh, you like it. Oh, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. And I'm seeing the hearts. I can see the hearts, so that's so sweet of you. I was so excited to show you this card. I thought, oh, they think the girls are really going to like this card tomorrow. So that's that one. So that's the star of the show, but obviously it's the one that takes the longest. Now I'm going to show you one that is not hard, and I did, I think I did all the die cutting, or at least most of it. We're going to use the paper that goes with this suite called Regency Park, I think. Um, and I've got all this ready. All we have to do for this is we just have to put the greeting on. We have to stamp the greeting and then die cut it. So that will be easy. Um, let me look up that paper. I just don't want to tell you the wrong thing. And I don't know if it's on sale or not. So let's look for it. It is Regency Park. And I don't have it marked with on sale. So it must not be. Do I, let me hold on let me that might be not true because I might have marked it on the main page which I probably did well let's just look up the page number so I can tell you more details and you know the actual information instead of me just guessing so Regency no, that's not what it's called it's called Petal Park Petal page 32 Okay, so all this stays, the stamp sets the punch, uh, and then there's a coordinating word set with dies, and that stays, but they unbundle. And here's the paper. The gems that originally went with this, they're sold out, but the paper is, it will be retiring, but it isn't on sale. But I just wanted you to know for sure, so you wouldn't miss a sale price if you wanted it, but it's still pretty even at full price. All right, now one thing on this card I wanted to show you, I'm calling it a fun fold, but it's a little bit of a stretch to call it a fun fold. This is Night of Navy, and it's cut five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter, but what we're gonna do for this card is we're gonna take off one inch of the front fold, okay? Now, you obviously could just cut it at seven and a half by is that right um i sorry i can't think i'm distracted by this huge fat bird outside chasing another smaller bird and that's annoying me all right so this is going to go on the inside of this um i got distracted i don't even know what i was talking to you about Oh, you guys, you know, I don't know whether it's because I'm getting older or I've got too much on my mind, but I lose track of things in my brain a lot. Okay, I'm going to swipe again, see if I can see any comments. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the card, everybody. I think it turned out pretty, too. We're gonna take a little bit of that gingham paper and I think I think it's called oh gosh, I cannot even put anything straight. Look how crooked that was. I need to focus. Focus, focus. There we go. That's quite a bit better. And then alright, so this is what I wanted to show you about this. Okay, this die has been one of my all-time favorite dies, and it's part of this set of dies called Penned Flowers. And I think this is on sale for $12. Now, we are gonna use some of the other dies. We're using these dies in this card, but um, this is another die that's in this set. Let me just show you. Isn't that a beautiful die? You can make cards with just this set of dies. It does coordinate with a stamp set. But um, let me let me get it out for you so you can see it. Let me grab mine. 
gosh, by this time on my Facebook Live, I can't find anything. Um, I just think this die, these dies are so pretty and they're marked down to like, is it here or here? Here, they're up here. So they're on page 173 and they're up here in the corner, pen flowers, and they're worth $30. They are $12 and they're 155557. So if you don't have those, it's not a lot of money to add to your collection, and I think they're beautiful dyes. And I have used this dye alone so many times, I can't even tell you how many times. But we're gonna make a card with it today and use the other flower dyes in here too. We are still gonna use the greetings from Special Moments. Let's go ahead and put this dye on the back of here. I mean, this die cut on the back of our card. Uh, this has stitching on it, and I kind of want that stitching to show because I think it's cute. It's especially cute with the gingham. Going to get this lined up here. And I'm matching it to the top of the gingham paper so you can see that it meets up there. Then I'm going to take a piece of this paper in the petal part set, and we're just going to... Just love these little blue flowers. And this is mint macaron, so it's mixed up with mint macaron. I'm going to take our ovals. All right, this is another set that's leading. So this set of dies is the frame florette sets of dies, and I don't remember what it's marked down to. But see all these ovals in here? So there's, there's three ovals in this one, which I said all the ovals are retiring. Uh, this is marked way down, too. I think this one might be $12.80, too. Um, I can tell you. Let me see. I can tell you for sure, so you know. Um, I know those of you that are demonstrators are going, you don't need to look up everything. We know where it is, but this is not actually for you. <laughs> this is for people that might not know. Okay, so I lied. They're not twelve eighty. They're fourteen eighty, but they were forty seven dollars. So these are the dies I'm showing you right now that I use for this card, um, and the number is one six zero six two zero, fourteen dollars and eighty cents. So it's amazing. It's, it's such a great bargain. All right, the greeting for this one is we're going to. This is going to be a. Thank you card to a friend. This is all, again, this is from the special moment. So we're going to take Night and Navy ink. And just go ahead. This is actually, I think, all the stamping. I think we have a greeting on the inside. I'm going to straighten this up straight because I feel like I stamp straighter if whatever I'm stamping on is kind of squared up. I realize it's an oval, but I think the word squared up still works. We're going to go ahead and put this on our card before we put the flower on. So I'm going to... Do you do this with your dimensionals? I'm just gonna cut them up. I don't like to waste any of it. That should get us through this card. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the back of it. I just love this scallop with the gingham paper. I just think that's really pretty. And the flowers, because we're getting ready for flowers. Whether you're a flower person or not, I bet you enjoy seeing flowers in the spring. Now, the other thing I did is, you know, this isn't absolutely necessary, but I didn't like the way this looked, so I just cut another piece of paper, pattern paper. I didn't make it the same. I made it with a little bit of variation, but that it would go with it. Um... It would go with the inside pattern paper, and then I just kind of covered this up and made it even, even boundary all the way around it, like so. Then I'm going to grab these beautiful flowers and leaves from that penned flowers dies that I just talked with you about, and we're going to take some. 
I'm going to take a mini glue dot and just stick it at the bottom of this leaf. And then I'm going to stick this leaf going. I'm kind of going to use that bottom petal of the flower to kind of line that up. You have to be kind of careful with these dyes that are see-through. They're so pretty, but, you know, uh, you have to be careful how you're piecing them together. And then this one, we're going to put kind of between those two petals of this card. And then I got it kind of into the bare space, which I don't want. Okay, then we'll just grab some mini dimensionals. And if you um, if you put a $50 order in for this class, all the die cutting is going to be done for you. So you'll get this flower already die cut. I can't 100% promise the exact same designer paper I'm using, but everything I send you will... Uh, will go together for your card. It will all coordinate, I promise you, I won't send you something that doesn't coordinate at all. Stick this down here. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this out. I'm sorry, I can't see what you're saying. Oh, Kathy, you're welcome. Um, happy Easter to you, my friend. Uh, you know, we did Easter projects a few weeks ago to make sure you had time to make your Easter projects. So hopefully, if you're if you're make, planning to make them, you've you've got them done, or you're almost getting them done, and you're ready for Easter. Um, Easter has come so fast this year that I I really can't keep track of it. I mean. <laughs> Uh, again, I'm looking for my gems again. Here they are. Um, this one, I don't know what you think about this. I, well, for my sample, I used the dark green ones, but I'm wondering if we should have used yellow because there's yellow in the flowers. I think yellow would show up better. What do you think? I think I just, and I didn't put too many gems on this one. I just put one on the center of the flower and then two other ones i don't know the green shows up better on the white but the yellow shows up better on the flower itself so either one looks good i'll show you a couple other color schemes i made with this one this design i was struggling figuring out what i was going to do so here's one with rich razzleberry no black bur burgundy I think this is a burgundy. Well, not burgundy. What the heck? Blackberry Bliss. Yeah, I think I started out with Rich Raspberry because it's a retiring color, but then I went with Blackberry Bliss. And I put butterflies on this one. And then this is um, this is the paper, the celebration paper that uh, Dainty Details, I think it was called. So there's two other versions for you of that card. And then let's put an inside greeting on this one before we leave it. Um, what did I put in here? Thanks for brightening my day. I thought I made this a thank you card. And all of you have brightened my day today. Seriously, I just really look forward to having you join me. I look forward to sharing stamping with you. I look forward to just having your company while I'm stamping. I'm always hopeful that I help you with some inspiration or some idea that maybe you hadn't thought about or some method to do something that makes your life and your crafting a little bit easier. So those those are really my goals and I hope I hope that you have learned something today. I hope you've enjoyed just seeing crafting today. That's always fun too. So there's that card. We made a lot of cards today, kids. So there's our sympathy card. Here's our flower pot card. So if you make any of these, I even, you know, use different stamp sets. Use what you have or get these before they unbundle. Um, I'd love to see what you're making. So I'd love for you to, you can post it on my page. You can post it on my Create with Joey Stampers page. 
um, and share your creations there. You can you can always just send it to me, and I'm happy to post it. Or if you don't want to post it, I won't post it. But there's our card. So there's your free class for today. Uh, highlighting some retiring products and um, swiping my iPad. <laughs> when you see my hand go in the in the in the a screen that's what i'm doing i'm trying to see your comments because they still won't come up on my computer just will not come up it just won't come up so let me swipe here i will come back thanks Kay. thank you marcia i appreciate it thank you carol corinne thank you kelly thank you Kay. thank you both case and kathy viverka thanks so much and liz hi I didn't see you come on because I can't see the comments, Liz. It's been that kind of a day on Facebook Live. Anyway, thanks so much. Um, I'm happy to have spent time with you today. I hope you found something that was fun for you. And I never like to say goodbye, so you can tell. Obviously, I'm dragging it out. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for every comment. I really appreciate you spending time with me, and I appreciate everything from you. Your comments your um some of you message me personally and privately some of you have become my friends we text each other and i just love spending craft spending time crafting with you and sharing stamping because that's what we really love all right friends have a wonderful rest of your day thank you so much and have a good rest of the day and a good week and a happy easter week and happy easter to you love you bye bye